What's up guys, it's Jake here, and today we're going to be talking about two new pieces of leaked information for Black Ops 2 Zombies. So before we get started, I do want to say that this is not Zombies gameplay, as you may have already noticed, it's Black Ops multiplayer. And a lot of you guys have been saying, you know, can you do some multiplayer gameplay? We're getting bored of all the zombies, it's just way too much, and so I'm gonna try and switch it on and off for now until Black Ops 2 comes out doing both zombies and multiplayer gameplay, so uh, I listen to you guys and thanks for the input. Alright, so what I want to talk about today, as I said, is two pieces of leaked information for Black Ops 2 Zombies. The first one, some of you may already know, the second one is pretty awesome. So the first thing is that we have had official confirmed information that Zombies is going to have a campaign mode. Now, if you're a big Zombies guy like me, you probably already knew this just because it's been rumored so much to the point where it was almost practically said by the guys at Treyarch, but they never officially said it. But funny enough, Walmart actually leaked it. If you go on their website, look up Black Ops 2 and try to pre-order it, they have a description of the game, and in that, in that description they say all this stuff about campaign, and then they go to multiplayer, and then they say zombies, going to have a multiplayer game mode and a zombies campaign. So they pretty much told us, yeah, zombies is going to have a campaign. So not really too much of a surprise, but now you know. Alright, so the next thing that I want to talk about, and the big thing, is the leaked game modes that we have gotten just the other day, actually two days ago from when this video should be out. A day ago from when I'm making this. And somehow someone got a leaked copy, or not a leaked copy, but a stolen copy of the Black Ops 2 beta. It was allegedly stolen, meaning it could be Treyarch fooling us and giving the information to one source that they told, you know, let it let it go, we don't really care. Or someone could have actually stolen a beta. We're not really sure, but that's not what that's that doesn't matter. What we have is leaked zombies game mode. So this person got into the beta and they saw all different kinds of stuff. Zombie stuff, multiplayer maps, things like that. But the thing that everyone really cared about, the stuff that no one knew about, was zombies. And so we got some leaked game modes. Eight leaked game modes, to be exact. So I'm going to go off and just read all of these for you. We have Classic, Survival, Race, Meat, No Man's Land, Turned, Returned, and Grief. Now some of these may sound kind of familiar to you, and some of them may not. I'm just going to go through and talk about each one real quickly here. So classic, obviously it's classic zombies. Survival, sounds to me like survival from MW3. I'm not really sure how they're going to do it and make it different from classic. Maybe they'll do like waves like in Halo 4, but if you die, you don't spawn. There's no respawn, there's no being revived, stuff like that. Race, I have no idea what that could possibly mean. Maybe a race to a certain amount of points, like you and your friends, or your four friends versus another four friends, racing to get to the most kills or the most points, or something like that, not really sure. The next one is meat. Now this, I have no idea. We've kind of heard wind of this before when we found out about the infected game mode, but uh, meat, I have no idea what that means. No Man's Land, that sounds like, obviously, No Man's Land on Moon. Now. What I think this will be is pretty much No Man's Land as its own game mode. No Man's Land on Moon was a place where, before you got into the game, you started out here and you had a pistol, and in this room there was a pack punch, there was the perk machine, and it was kind of weird. That's where Juggernaut and Speed Cola was, and you could start out in there and get lots of points. You, people have actually stayed in just that room and gotten, like, all the way to being able to pack a punch of their guns and getting all the perks. So I'm not really sure how they're going to do this and what they're going to make it so it's actually fun because obviously it wouldn't be too fun if you just have a hit you know, have a pistol, you gotta try and get juggernaut or whatever, or you gotta get pack a punch and then you're done. Maybe they'll implement guns somehow. I'm not really sure, but that seems like it'll be pretty much the same basis of what No Man's Land already is. Turned? Kind of sounds like this infected game mode. You turned. You turned from a human into a zombie. Not really sure. And then there's returned, which is maybe the opposite of turn. I'm not exactly sure how they could possibly do that. I'm guessing either one of these will be kind of infected type of game modes. And then grief. Grief is the last one. Now grief is weird. This really doesn't ring a bell to anything zombies related at all. When you think of grief, you think of griefing. You think of Minecraft griefing, which is pretty much destroying someone's house or stuff or thing of that nature. And, um, well, griefing is practically trolling, so I'm not really sure how they could implement this into zombies. 
but obviously it is going to be in there. So that is really all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to leave you this information. Maybe this is the information that um, James C. Burns is going to actually be breaking down for us. He's going to tell us what each of these game modes mean. And uh, maybe that's what he was talking about in his uh, video where he said, you know, I've got some information for you guys that I'm going to break down for zombies. Now, I did talk about that in a previous video, and if you want to check it out, you can check it out right after this video ends. So, I just want to say real quickly, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, I always do appreciate a like rating and a comment. It always helps me out, and it makes me feel good on the inside. So, feel free to do it, and I will see you guys all later. Peace.